should I start? We kicked off a product development sprint with Bold Design, Reza, the Igor Institute, and Racer Technologies and Manufacturing. The team came together and the result of the last year of work, we're now in 2023, we have produced the Generation 1 unit. And this system has been used to collect data in a variety of settings and it's really going to unlock our potential to take our learnings from the lab out into the real world. First of all, it is a big feat to be able to do non-invasive glucose monitoring. So from an industrial designer's point of view, the, the job is to bridge the gap between the raw technology, which would have been at some point, you know, big circuit boards and sensors and things like that, and then to integrate it intelligently into a package that can then interface with a person and to do so comfortably, seamlessly, and repeatably. This product replaces the, the suboptimal situation where somebody has to jab themselves. We wanted it to be sort of the anti-jab. Uh, it's been a journey, really. Um, I mean, we started in a lab with no custom electronics. We just had inexpensive RF hardware, uh, doing some tests and just trying to get an idea for what we were working with. And then we learned that it just wasn't stable enough. You couldn't get the readings that you needed to get um, with the hardware that we had. So we upgraded and we started seeing, oh, okay, these, these measurements are repeatable and we're actually seeing something happen when we change these stimuluses. And so then it becomes more real. At that point, you start saying, okay, well, well how would we make a device that does this? And you can't just use all this expensive equipment uh, in people's homes, right? It's not, it's not practical. Uh, and so we started concepting the ideas, how can we rec recreate the lab setup as best we can in a much smaller form factor, custom electronics. It is like a radar, but instead of uh, working based on a mile's distance, it works at a very small size, molecular interactions, and it can actually characterize the molecules inside the body. So the challenge was to put all these pieces together in a real size portable device. This is super important for, uh, for the society since this is gonna enable a medical grade information for the for the users rather than having a needle attached to the skin. This is a purely non-intrusive approach. In our current 3-hour glucose protocol, this Gen 1 device collects data over 10,000 different frequencies and captures a signal at every frequency. This data is then processed through our proprietary algorithm. At the end of the test, we plot all the data and we're left with two curves. So the blue curve represents the Dexcom G6 reference values, which we collect every five minutes, and the red curve represents the data we collect with the Gen 1 device. As you can see, the Dexcom G6 in our data is highly correlated. I want to thank all of you who've helped make Generation 1 of our technology a reality. Our employees, our external consultants, and our shareholders. Thank you very much. Stay tuned for developments as we work to bring the first non-invasive blood glucose monitor to the marketplace. Thank you all.